In this video, I will show you how to find the file number summary of this data set and then we use the file number summary to construct a regular boss plot. So we are going to do the entire process by hand. After that, I will show you how to use a graphing calculator to do the entire process. So let's start. What is the first step in here? Find number summary. Do we just go? Do we just start finding the the Q two and then Q one and Q three? The answer is no. The first step is you have to sort the data in ascending order. All right. Let's start. So the minimum is five, right? And then nine, and then seventeen, and then we have a uh, twenty. 25, uh, 28, 29, and then uh, 32, 33, and then uh, 37, 40, 46, and then a 90, right? So let's double check 5, 9, 17, 20, 25, 28, 29, 32, 33, 37, 40, 46, and 90. Okay, how many numbers do we have? 13, so 13. That means um, the median is the seventh value, right? So first we find the minimum. And then the maximum, the seven value, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my median is a uh, twenty nine. So that is my median. Median is Q two, and then we cut this into two half. Right, the first half is from five to twenty eight, and then there are six numbers. So that means this we have to take the average. So Q one is equal to. 17 plus 20 divided by 2, right? So that is equals to 18.5. And then Q3. So Q3 is taking the average of this, which is uh, 37 plus 40 divided by 2. That is equals to 38.5. So we have a Q2. So we got a minimum Q1, Q2, Q3, and a max. And then we construct a regular boss plot. We start with a minimum. So that is a 5. So since we are we sketch this, right? We live a reasonable distance between a 5 and 18.5. And then a 29. And then 38.5. 38.5. And then maximum should be extend all the way to the right. So that is a 90. All right. And then this is my box. The box, this is a Q1. This is a Q3. The box is the middle 50%. And then this is a Q2 median minimum and then a maximum. So that is how you do the entire process by hand. The next step that we will going to do is we are going to do this using a TI graphing calculator. So the first step that you will have to do is you have to input the data. So this one, uh, I am going to I am going to scroll down because I have um, the screenshot for you. So if you still need this uh, information, you can take a screenshot really quick right now. All right, so let's go down. So here is the screenshot. I hope you can see that on your screen. Okay, the first step that we will have to do is, oh, before we start, the calculator that I am using is not an exactly TI-84 graphing calculator. This one is uh, called a Graphing Calculator Pro. It's five bucks. I brought this from uh, App Store. It's similar to a TI-84, but not exactly the same. So the first step that we will have to do is we have to enter the data. So we go to step. And then we go to edit, we enter the data. I decide to put this in L1, all right? I decide to put this in L1, but I have some old data in L1. How do you get rid of that? You go one step up. So do you see that the cursor is on L1? Okay, what did I do? Stat edit, okay. 
oh, looks like I already clean, clean up the data. Okay, let's in, input some old, old data here. So let's say they are my old data. I put this all the way up on L1 and then I click clear and then I click enter. So now the data the L1 is all cleaned up. And then next, you input the data. You don't have to sort the data yourself. You can ask the calculator to do it for you. So I will just enter the data, the one I, I gave you. So 17, you don't have to sort them. I will show you how to, how to sort, sort it using a calculator. 5, 20, 25, 33, 32, 29, 28, 90, 37, 46, 40. So we have 13 values, right? And they are not sorted in ascending order. How do we sort them in ascending order? So here is how. So first we go to second mode to quick. And then, so uh, you see right here, right? So this is how, how we sort this screen. Let me change color, this screen. Step two, sort the data. So we go to step. And then we, in the edit, we have short A, right? Or oh, actually, or oh, edit, edit, and then we are looking for short A. A means ascending order. D means descending order. Descending order means from the biggest to the smallest. Don't do that. We do short A, short the data in ascending order. And then you type second one. Because I put mine in L1, if you put yours in L2, then you have to type second two, L1. And then you will see, oh, this one, they show me the entire list and then yours you you supposed to see the word done so click the enter twice you supposed to see the word done and then once you see the word done now go back to step edit you see the data is sorted in ascending order do you need to sort the data in ascending order to get the final number summary summary right the answer is no when you do this in your calcul calculator, even though you don't sort the data, you can still get the fine number summary right. When you ask the calculator to get the fine number, number summary for you, the calculator will sort the data in the background without letting you see it. But here is an advantage of using this short A. Let's say you are doing this on paper. Your teacher gave you 30 numbers, six, uh, uh, 45 numbers. You don't need to short the number one by one. You can let the calculator do it for you. Just do it right here and then copy this over to your paper. So that will save you a lot of time in shorting. Plus, this will get everything absolutely right. Okay, the next step is we second mode too quick. Now we go to um, step and then we go to count and then we select one variable stats. I am right here. Right, we select one variable stats. I put my data in L1, so I type second one. I put my data in L1, and then if you put your data in L2, you should uh, type the correctness. And then uh, if you see the one variable stats on the home screen, and then you see um, a cursor flashing, that's fine. That means you are using the older version of TI, so that's fine. Just hit second one L1, and then you hit enter. In mine, I have to uh, hit a calculate. If you see the frequency list, the one right here, don't worry about that. Totally ignore this. You don't need to input anything. So calculate. So now I see my average mean, right, and standard deviation, but I don't need that. So just hit the down arrow. You will see um, the, the sample size, the, Q, the minimum Q1, median Q3, and maximum. Uh, that screen is uh, right here. So right here, you see this. So they are your fine number summary. So now you can double check your work, right? They are your fine number summary. But how do you get the boss plot? So to get the boss plot, we have to follow this. You have to go to second and then you tap y equal. The y equal key is right above second. So let me clean all of this. We go to second y equal. And then now we are on a different screen, right? Do you see what I have right now? And then yours is supposed to look like this. Now, make sure the setting is right. Go to make sure everything else is off. If they are on, if if L if two and three they are on, go go to L two, click enter, and then turn turn it off. There is an option to turn it off. I only want plot one to be on. Plot two, plot three. 
they must be off. I'm not sure if you put choose four, they will just turn everything off. Just make sure only plot one is on. If the other two are on, we might you might end up with a mistake. Only plot one is on. All right. So if your plot one is off, let's say you are all off. Maybe if you select four, they will just put everything off. I'm not sure. So let's say you are all off, right? One, two, three, all off. That's fine. Don't panic. That's fine. If you are all off, that is your first time using this calculator. They are all off. Good. Nothing needs to, to worry about. Go in there. If you see plot one is off, choose on, click enter, turn it on. And then the type, this one is a regular boss plot. But this one, the, the green one, uh, you can see the green over there. The pink one, this one, do you see there are two dots right there? That is a modified boss plot. We will get there in, in, in a minute. So we are doing regular boss plot right now. So you will need to select this, the one without two dots at, at the end. So in mine, I have to select the right one. So without two dots at the end, and then where did you put your data? L1, right? So you so you better for the X list, you better choose L1. The frequency, keep that in one. Don't change that. If you're using a TA84C or CE, you can choose the color you like. And then after everything is done, you go to zoom and then you click nine. Nine means you zoom everything you set up in there. And then you will see the regular boss part. So mine, I will just hit graph. So, so this thing is a little bit weird, right? Because mine is not an exactly a TI. So mine looks like this. Mine looks like this. Uh, unlike our sketch, they won't show you the minimum, the maximum. If you want to know that number, uh, you have to click the trace. There is a trace key. It's right above the up arrow. You click the trace key and then you can go up and down, up and down. You should be able to move the cursor to the point you want and they will tell you the approx. They will tell you what that equals to. It is only a approximation. It is hard to get the exact value, but uh, you know how the fine number summary works in a boss plot. You are uh, supposed to know what those numbers are. All right, the calculator can only bring you that far. The rest, fill, fill out the blanks. You have to do that part yourself. Okay, so here is, that's how you construct a regular boss plot using a TI graphing calculator. If you think my instruction is helpful, please click the like, subscribe to my channel, share this out for me. I'm sure many people are looking for this kind of instruction. I see you all in the next video.